No, I think I think overall, um, I'm really I'm really disappointed with this. Probably more so than the previous two week two weeks. Um, you know, the uh, the level the level that we showed today is nowhere near where we need to be. I think uh, from a effort point of view, I'm really happy with the third quarter. But in, ha in, in having said that, that that is that is where we're at as a club. That we can be happy with uh, one one quarter of football, and it's nowhere near good enough. We've got to harden up mentally and physically so we can compete for uh, whole games, whether it's against the best teams or the teams that are at the same level as us. We need to be able to be hard enough mentally and physically to compete for four quarters of footy, and, and when we can start to do that, we'll get some more consistency in our performances. But I'm pretty disappointed with that. Um, well, at half time, the message was, was really, truly, you know, just we weren't competing at the required level. And so we weren't hard enough at the contested ball. And then our efficiency by hand and foot was really poor. We were just coughing the ball up because we're not hard enough in the mind to attack it and be. You know, hard enough to be able to get the ball through a contest and onto the body of our teammates. So that was the message. And all of a sudden we go out in the third quarter, we get the hardness right, the attack on the footy right, and then our efficiency goes to 75%. And that's because the mind is hard enough to execute under uh, that sort of pressure. Uh, but I, I just think we created more opportunities. You know, we created more opportunities for us to attack, attack the game, play the game in our half. Uh, we made the most of those half chances. So, uh, and we, we uh, you know, our efficiency with our skills was r really high. Last week in the first half was, you know, 50%. Um, early in the, uh, you know, the first half was really poor, and then all of a sudden 75% was, was really good and at the right level. And so we can competed and scored. Um, just once again, not hard enough. Not hard enough to play out the uh, the, fo the, uh, the the last quarter. Thought the third quarter was going to be enough, and Richmond were going to lay down and die. But they didn't, and we couldn't uh, we couldn't run it out. Yeah, it dropped down to 53 percent, I think. Oh, absolutely. You know, well, I'm disappointed that we come out in the first first half and, and dish that up. You know, we've spoken about the importance of uh, finishing the year strong, um, getting the things that we've been trying to work on better, and uh, they jumped us. They come. They came out in the first half and got lower and harder than us at the footy, and we didn't respond until the third quarter, which is too late. I was really happy, really happy with Cole's effort today. I thought he, uh, he was one of the few right from the start that was at the required level with the intensity and hardness. I thought some of his, uh, his ball use was fantastic. You know, the simple brilliance, he, a couple of times he just chipped the ball over rather than having a long shot at goal from 45-50. He, he rewarded his teammate, uh, which is something we spoke about from the week before. Um, so I was really happy with his game. Uh, we'd spoken to Cole. His form hadn't been that that strong, but you know, from the uh, from the moment he he went back, I said, I just want to see your intent, defensive intent, better. Um, just the pressure. He's one of the strongest players I've I've ever seen. I want to see more of that uh, effort uh, for longer periods of the game, and uh, make sure his structures were right around the stoppages and just the attention to detail on some of the smaller things. And he's. Bartram, I think, uh, was fantastic. You know, really uh, stuck to his task all day on a good player. And, uh, you know, we're happy with his, his output. Crawley was another one, Todd. Thought he did a good job on Rebel. 
Yeah, I think uh, you know each week he's uh, he's under siege a fair bit of the time. Um, we just need to work harder. Um, he's been playing a lot of game time, so I think that's taken a bit of a toll that we're not getting the same sort of run and rebound out of him. But um, but generally over the over the game, I thought he competed really well. And was that a similar story with Garland? Thought he did some. Yeah, uh, Garlow's been terrific. We tried him down forward for a bit in the third quarter, which I thought had some some success. Uh, just compared, I wasn't happy with the the ball going into our forward line and then coming out. The opposition kicked four goals, one from their back transition, which is uh, nowhere near good enough. So um, we sent Cole down there to give us a bit more contest, and I thought he did a pretty good job. Mm. Yeah, he, certainly yeah, he's really struggling for, for form. Um, first half, I think, only had a handful of touches, if, if a handful, one. Yeah, so um, we, we thought we had to try and get him into the game, put him to half back, and thought he started to get a little bit of the ball, but um, he's been struggling. You know, he's been struggling for a fair part of the year, and um, he's one of our best players, but we're certainly not getting the... Uh, the rewards from him that we that we should. Uh, no, I've been happy with his uh, with his attitude of training, and uh, he's been doing everything right to try and get himself to the level. But it just hasn't uh, transferred into into the form on the game day. Uh, well, Green, he missed last week with the uh, back spasm and has had a really interrupted uh, preparation. So we just thought um, that we'd uh, play him as a sub so that we knew we'd get you know, probably a quarter and a bit out of him and just didn't know how he'd go after a full game, you know, particularly at halftime after cooling down. And we needed, uh, you know, Colin Sylvia was the one I was tossing up with at the time, read the sub, but we just needed a little bit more midfield presence. Cole went into the midfield and had a bit of an impact, I reckon, in the third quarter at centre bounces. So it was just a, a balanced thing and trying to give Green an opportunity to give another week under his belt uh, to play. When would, when would he know, know that he's going to be I told him uh, at the game when I arrived. No, very good, as you'd expect the captain of the club. He understood exactly where we were, where we were coming from. Um, we thought he'd impact when he when he came on, and he was good. But, you know, he was really, I could hear through the cans that he was really vocal on the bench, encouraging and coaching on the bench. So uh, and his attitude to it was fantastic.